Here in the early morning of the Scambia Lakes, we've got this Job Smart headlamp in the narrow beam mode right now. We're checking it out out here on the road. There is a mist, a foggy mist out here that limits visibility. We're looking at a fence line here that isn't complete. There's fence posts up. We got some car headlights right here. You can see how this beam can kind of pinpoint and go out there. We're looking at some woods out here right now. It's interesting how it makes kind of a square pattern at the full um, long distance beam setting. Now here we're dialing it back to bring the beam in. So it gets broader and broader. It's a nice big working beam right now. Your little uh, ones in the box stores don't do this. Okay, we're taking a quick drive right around the corner down here. Turn this lamp off. Kind of compare now the lights of the regular vehicle here. What kind of illumination you get with that driving down a road. And then we'll take another look at the lamp down here where we're going to be working. So here we're looking at a fence line with the car brights on. You know, we can see down the line there's some light there. Let's turn the car off. And then here's our lamp. This is on the uh, high power setting and with the beam and at medium setting, now I'm widening the beam out. Look how large that circle is there. Large illumination. Here, nice, nice working illumination. Can't can't do that with a car. Look, <laughs> look how wide the, the thing is. Here's the widest setting. Nice big circular pattern here. So when I'm doing fencing work and such, you know, I'm out here in the night doing work in the woods or whatever. I've got plenty of light for a big, wide beam selection. And I, I can see, I'm choosing what I want to see, and it's a lot of stuff that's around me. And then I can narrow the beam down here. If I want to go look down this fence line, like right here, and look down there and see what I got. And the... Uh, Beams reaching down there pretty far, and keep in mind these are foggy and misty conditions. This is also good for searching for animals in the woods, spotting shining eyes, and and things like that out there. For 15 bucks, it's a very impressive lamp, and definitely rivals all the junk that they sell out of the box stores and the cheap, cheap little ones. Um, and this one is actually rechargeable, so you're not spending anything more on batteries. Um, we've got other ones with battery packs, like we say in the back, with the double A batteries. Not the triple A batteries, but the double A batteries. Those ones have um, good features with the light and long uh, battery time. And they're good to have also. But this one here, definitely, this is a workhorse. Um, it might, you know, last an hour and a half, two hours or something on the battery, whereas the other ones might last longer. But for shorter working stints between charges, this is definitely a, a great, a great lamp. All right, focusing back on the fencing here. 
I've got like 4,000 plus feet of uh, wire to put out today. Another strand of barbed wire on this barbed wire fence. And uh, that's not the whole of it. There's a lot of work to, to do today. So I'm going to get to it.